All right, so now we're going to work on graphing a rational function. Um, here we have, it says, of the form ax plus b divided by cx plus d. So you can see that our function looks like that form. It's basically a polynomial divided by a polynomial. They happen to be linear. We have an x to the first divided by an x to the first, but we'll get into those details. Um, step one, first we're going to determine if we have a vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote, we find those. Again, we talked about that in our last video. Vertical asymptote is found by, by taking your denominator, 3x minus 4, and setting it equal to 0. We're going to solve this equation. Now we can get kind of excited about this one because our x is raised to the first power. So this is just get the x alone. If you have an x squared or higher, we have to use alternate solving methods. So we will add 4 to both sides. Ooh, not with a highlighter. There we go. Add 4 to both sides. We have 3x equals 4. We're still going to work on um, solving for x, so divide by 3. So we have a vertical asymptote of x equals 4 thirds. So it's okay that that's a fraction. It's not the most convenient, but it's real life. Fractions are real life. Um, this is a vertical line that goes through the x-axis at 4 thirds. So when you do have a fraction, this is this is really the only time I like mixed numbers. It helps me see where this fraction is, like on a number line. So if you were to think about this as a mixed number, that would be 1 and 1 third. Now I know that's going to be between 1 and 2 and about a third of the way through. Draw a vertical line through the x-axis at 1 and a third. Ooh. Anyway, there we go. All right, that is our vertical asymptote. X equals four thirds. Okay, step two, let's determine if we have a horizontal asymptote. So horizontal asymptotes Remember, that's the one with the three cases. It really comes down to um, the degrees in each polynomial, the degree of the numerator, degree of the denominator. So I'm just going to rewrite the function f of x equals 2x plus 1 and 3x minus 4. The degree of the numerator is 1. It's an x to the first power. The degree of the denominator is 1. It's x to the first power. So when the degrees are the same, then we just take the leading terms and we reduce that ratio. So we're going to take 2x over 3x, and then we just simplify this. Those x's will cancel, leaving us with 2 thirds. So our horizontal asymptote is at y equals 2 thirds. So we go to our graph. That's between 1 and 2. No, it's not. It's between 0 and 1 and it's two-thirds of the way through, and it's horizontal, so it's going to be right about there, just a little bit above halfway. That's our horizontal asymptote of y equals two-thirds. Oops. All right. Now, to graph this, we need points on either side of our vertical asymptote, that x equals 4 thirds. So I'm just going to draw a quick little table of values. With five spots to fill in. And in the middle spot, we're going to put our vertical asymptote. I'm going to use the mixed number that's 1 and 1 third. And I know that there is no y value for when x is 1 and 1 third, because remember, your vertical asymptote is where your function is undefined. That's the number that when you plug into the denominator gives you a 0, and the whole thing is undefined. Okay, we need numbers on either side of 1 and 1 third. So if I go to the left, that would be like a 1 and a 0. If I move to the right, that would be a 2 and a 3. Now, I can take these numbers and I can plug them into the function by hand, but we have graphing calculators with a table function, 
So let's use our graphing calculators to get these values so we can plot these points a little bit faster. So here's just a quick little photo I took of my graphing calculator. I went into the y equals. Now to type in these rational functions, you have to use parentheses around the numerator and parentheses around the denominator. So my numerator was 2x plus 1. Here's the division. Denominator is 3x minus 4. Then we hit second graph to get a table of values. All right, so there's the table of values. Again, not the best photo, but hopefully you can just make sense to follow along. Um, I've already figured out at a one and one third or a 1.3, which X values are on the left of that and which X values are on the right. So now I'm just gonna look at this um, table of values and find those. Here, here's basically where that vertical asymptote is. I can see when my X is one, the Y is negative three. So I'm gonna fill in a negative three to my table of values. When x is a 0, the y is a negative 0.25. Now I want to see when x is a 2, that's a 2.5 from the table of values. And when x is 3, we have a 1.4. So again, typing your function, your rational function into your y equals, getting a table of values, just find where that vertical asymptote is. Give me two numbers lower than that and two numbers higher than that. And then that will be good to go for graphing our function. All right, so now we're going to take those points. We're going to plot those on our graph. So we have 0, negative 0.25. It's just about a quarter of the way down right there. And then 1, negative 3. So that's giving me, that's going to just show me where the curve is. You're going to have a curve on either side of your vertical asymptote. So that curve kind of lets you know how close do you get basically to this intersection right here of your asymptotes. So we can draw that in. We're going to remember we don't touch the asymptotes. We just come along those, hit those two points, head toward the next asymptote. All right, let's plot the next two points. We have 2 for the x and 2.5 for the y. So over 2, up 1, 2.5 is right here. And then over 3 and up 1.4 is just under a half right there. And then go ahead and draw in your curve. Use the asymptotes as your guide. And there we have our function. Now I do want to point one thing out. Um, you know, we use the graphing calculator to help us get a table of values. That just saved us doing all those calculations. Um, so why aren't we using the graphing calculator to just graph this for us, right? Let me show you what this looks like when it's graphed on your graphing calculator. So here's just a little snapshot of what it looks like on your graphing calculator. What you notice is we've got the curves, and I can tell that that looks like the curves that we came up with here. But there's a lot of detail that we can't gather very easily from looking at this visual that we're able to get mathematically. Like mathematically, we found this vertical asymptote of four thirds. Well, we don't even, this doesn't even graph the asymptotes because technically the asymptotes are those guides. The rational function is the curve part of the graph. So you're not gonna see exactly where your asymptotes are. Um, we can't really tell that our, our vertical one is at you know, four and a third or that the horizontal one is at what was it at two thirds so we do have to do the detail work by hand but certainly let's use that table of values so that this calculation and that gets faster than my explanation of it when you guys start doing that on your own um, but it's not enough to just graph it and then copy this down onto the graph there's details you're missing there's work you're not showing me we wouldn't get credit for that